Praise the Lord. Now that is our expectancy. 
say amen. It is from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. God is a good God. He puts that expectancy on the inside of us. Amen. Now I know before I got saved, I didn't have a whole lot of expect expectancy. I mean, I thought, you know, just uh, going from day to day and uh, just doing the things that everybody else was doing was, was okay. But when I got saved, there was something on the inside of me. I was excited. I was excited about the Word of God. I was excited what He said belonged to me. I was excited that I served the Almighty God that could do the impossible. Amen. That He could take my situations that I would face and He could turn them around, amen, for my good. And He could turn them around to, to help me and to bless me. Amen. Expectancy. Glory to God. Now I heard a quote from somebody. They weren't expecting nothing. <laughs> they said, they said, uh, the man who expects nothing will never be disappointed. Hallelujah. Because if they're not expecting anything, they're not going to get anything. Amen. 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 So we got to stir ourselves up tonight. Amen. Amen. Because we got one more thing we got to have faith for. Yes. We got one more thing we got to be expecting from God. Yes. We've got something else that we've got to believe God for. Yes. And so sometimes we just have to stir it up. God, you were the same yesterday, today, and forever. And God, what you did for me in the past, has God ever done anything great for you tonight? He's done great and mighty things for each and every one of us. And the first great and mighty thing he did for us was to save us. Amen. And if God did something great for you one time, he's not finished. He's not through. He'll do it again and again. But we want, we have to expect it. We have to be looking for it. We have to desire it. We've got to want it. Amen. We've got to want it. We can't just go along and say, oh God, I hope something happens. You know, I just hope something good happens in this situation. Please, let something happen. We've got to know that we serve a God that can do the impossible. Amen. We've got to know that we serve a God that cares about us. Amen? Amen. Just like we love our children. He loves us even more than that. Amen. Amen? I don't know about you, but when my child was born, I was like, this is the most wonderful gift I've ever been given. You're God's child tonight. He loves you with an everlasting love. He loves you more than your mind could ever even comprehend. A loving God. So when the enemy comes and says he don't, well, he, he won't do it for you because of thus and so. That is a lie of the devil. A lie of the enemy to try to steal, kill, and destroy what good thing God has got for you. I want to be the one when I get to heaven and find out all the things that God wanted me to have. That I was just too stubborn or just did not have enough confidence in God's Word. Amen. All the things that we can have, everything in His Word is for you tonight. It's promised to you tonight. Amen? Amen. Don't lose your excitement. Don't lose your expectancy. What are you expecting tonight? What are you looking for for God to do for you? What are you believing Him for? What is your need tonight? God says, come unto me, all you who are labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. See, the thing is, is we try to be in control. We think we have to do it. 
or we, we feel like, you know, if we control it, then it's going to be okay, or I'm going to kill myself. Worrying, stress, frustration, realizing, you know, we get to the end of ourselves and realize, I can't do it. I can't do anything without God. Amen. We have to get to that place. Amen. Can't do anything without God. Amen. 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 Jesus said, Be it unto you according to your faith. Yeah. Yeah. He's saying, Stir yourself up. Amen. He's not saying, uh, You don't have enough faith. But he, it's what, according to to that expectancy that you need to have on the inside of you. Yes. That faith stirred up on the inside of you. Amen. Be it unto you according to your faith. Faith and expectancy go hand in hand. If you say... You're believing for something and, and you really, really, you're really believing it, you're gonna be, you're gonna start expecting it. If you really believe it, you're gonna start expecting it. You're gonna be waiting on it. You're gonna be looking for it. Hallelujah. Mark eleven twenty four says, Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire. When you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Amen. Amen. When you pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. So if you're really believing what you had just prayed for, what you just asked the Lord for, then you're going to start expecting. Yeah. Now see, what we do a lot of times is we put a time limit on it. God, if I, if I see a change in the next 24 hours, I'll know it was your will. Amen. That's what we do so many times. He said to believe. Just believe. Hallelujah. Let God do the rest. Amen. You know, when you're, me and you might not really, well, you, you don't really know. <laughs> when you are expecting a child, <laughs> you didn't see that child, but you believed you were going to have it. You were expecting to have that baby. Amen. Amen. Expecting. And then you received. Then you received. Amen. I keep going back to babies tonight. I didn't even plan on that tonight. So. I won't go there. <laughs> but I believe that God is saying to us tonight to raise your expectations. Lift them up higher. Amen? Amen. Amen? God's love is so strong. His love is so great, so mighty, so powerful. It's not Him that's withholding from us. God loves to do the impossible. He loves to take what man says, you know, that can't be done. You know, you might as well just forget about it. You know, you're just acting crazy. That God loves to take an impossible thing and situation and make it possible. Yes. Hallelujah. He loves to do that. He loves to shine His glory down. Amen. He loves to pour His goodness on His children. Amen. All it takes is just someone who will believe God. Just someone who will expect God to do what His Word says it will do. Yeah, right. Just somebody that will pray and believe 
that God's word is true. Just somebody to believe. Just somebody to have the faith. God says, believe, receive. Amen. Believe, receive. Now, I don't know how long it's going to take from believe to receive, uh -huh. but God knows. Right. Amen. If we will not faint, Amen. if we'll not lose heart, Amen. continue to stand, continue to believe, continue to trust. You know, God's still doing the impossible today. Amen. He's still working miracles today. Yes. He's still healing today. Yes, he He's still raising the dead today. Yes. Amen. He's still doing mighty things. He's still delivering. Yes. He's still setting the captive free. Yes. Hallelujah. God's still the same God yesterday, today, and forever. He changes not. I believe the Lord is saying tonight, stir up your expectancy. Stir it up. Don't faint. Don't lose heart. But expect. Expect from God. You know, if we don't expect anything from Him, we're not going to get anything. Amen. We're not going to see anything happen. Amen. We've got to expect it. We've got to trust God and believe Him. Stir it up. Stir up your believing. Stir up your faith. Amen. Stir yourself up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Some of you have believed, been believing for things. You've been standing for things. You've been trusting for things. And I believe tonight that the Lord is saying that the fullness of time is here. Hallelujah. 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 The fullness of your time is here. Amen. Not it's going to be. Hallelujah. Not that way down there somewhere. But the fullness of time is right now. Yeah. Amen. It's today. Today is the day of salvation. Amen. Glory to God. Now you know we want to we want to be like Thomas, don't we? But it starts with faith. It starts with faith. Now you stood. You stood and you stood. Some of you have stood for many years even. That's right. Many, many years. And the devil's come along and said it's not going to happen. It's never going to happen. But God says, yes, it is. Amen. He's saying, yes, it is. Amen. Amen. Now you stood. And just get ready for the manifestation. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Get ready for that manifestation. You didn't give up when it looked impossible. God sees that. Amen. You didn't uh, grow weary and tired and give up. God sees that. You didn't stop tithing when the money was tight. You didn't stop sowing seeds. Because you're not looking at the natural. You're looking in the spirit. You know what the word of God says. He will take care of you. Amen. You didn't stop believing. Even though those doubt, those uh, fiery darts of doubt come to your mind, you didn't stop believing. Amen. You didn't stop coming and hearing the word. You didn't come stop coming and praising God. Hallelujah. Didn't give up when everybody else did. Amen. You're still standing. Yes, yes. You stood. 
and you've stood, and now it's time to receive. Amen. Time to receive. It's time for manifestation. Amen. You know, God said that that uh, prophecy from Jerry Savelle, manifestations. Yeah. This is the year of manifestation. Yeah. Glory to God. Are you ready for some manifestation? Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's manifestation time. Amen. Hallelujah. It is manifestation time. Hallelujah. Glory to God. God has not forgotten about your situation. He has not forgotten about you. Hallelujah. He knows every step of the way that you have stood, that you have been firm, that you have believed, that you have stood for Him. And that you have kept on believing the word. You've kept on doing what God has told you to do. Amen. 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 Glory to God. What is this, October? Yes. we got two more months. Yes. Two more months. Manifestations. Visitations. And demonstrations. Amen. of the Spirit of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Can we yes. just praise the Lord for yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God, we just thank you for whatever you've got for us, Father. Manifestations of your Spirit, Father God. Visitations, demonstrations, Father God, we just receive them tonight. Yes, yes. We receive what you have for us, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Can we stir ourselves up tonight? Can we stir ourselves? See, the enemy knows what the Lord has told us. Yes, that's right. And he knows that his time is short. Yes. Yes. And so he has come against the church, yes. which is you, uh -huh. right. with everything that he's got. Amen. Amen. He has pulled out every weapon that he has in his arsenal. And he has tried to discourage you. He's tried to defeat you. He has tried to bring everything he can against you. But God says it's not enough. Amen. 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 It's not enough. God's army has, has power. Yes. God's army has strength. Yes. We have faith tonight. Yes. We're stirring up our expectancy tonight. Yes. We're believing God for things. We're pressing on. Yes. We're not allowing those things to slow us down. Yes. We're not allowing those things to stop us. Yes. Amen. You know, the army marches forward, doesn't it? Yes. Hallelujah. So we are the army of God. And we are going to march forward. We're going to continue. Keep on marching and keep on marching. Manifestations, visitations, amen, and demonstrations. Glory to God. Let's expect them. Let's expect them, amen. Let's expect them. Because God spoke it to us. Because His Word says it so. Glory to God. Some of you have come here with needs tonight. Hallelujah. And God is moving right through this congregation. He has spoken to your heart tonight. And those things that you've been waiting on God for is here. It's here. Manifestation time is here. Yes. Hallelujah. 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 Manifestation time is here. Yes. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God won't let me stop. Hallelujah. 
Make better than it was before. Hallelujah. Whether that be your finances or whether that be relationships, whatever it is tonight that you would need restoring, accept that word tonight. It's for you. Restore. It's for you tonight. Hallelujah. And yeah, this is a little bit different. Right. Well, We're just done. Right. Yes. We're going to let God do what That's he right. That's right. Amen. That's right. Whether it's different, whether we've done it like this before, whether we've seen it like this before, whatever. Praise God. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 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 God says He's going to restore your body.
if you're sick in your body or you have pain in your body and you would like hands to on you, just come up and pass them and I will pray for you and stand in faith with you. Hallelujah. Manifestation, demonstration, and visitation. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ over her in Jesus' name. We command this problem in her back to leave in Jesus' name, and we call for healing in the name of Jesus.
something. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.